Market research used to mean gathering stacks of newspapers, periodicals, and trade journals to learn the information you need. Fortunately, this is no longer the case. Most of the market research you need to do can be conducted on the Internet from the comfort of your own home or office. In this short video, we'll introduce some of the best resources to look into. ThomasRegister.net is a time-tested war chest of manufacturers and suppliers grouped by what they do. The benefit to market researchers is obvious. Rather than wasting hours, days, or weeks sifting through huge lists of companies, you can narrow your focus to just those companies that matter with a few mouse clicks. Consider Thomas Register your first stop if you already know the category of manufacturer or supplier that you're looking to check into. Hoovers.com is a similar website that offers a searchable database of companies, executives, and expert advice. An added benefit of Hoovers is that you can search within people and industries rather than just companies. Some of this information can be accessed for free. However, a far more comprehensive database is offered for a monthly fee of $75. If you know what you're looking for and can act quickly, it may be worth paying for a month of access. Otherwise, just try to get what you can from the free service. IndustrySearch.com is a great resource if you are looking to do market research on the tech or manufacturing sectors. Here you will find information on these topics in an intuitive, easy to find fashion. Google Trends lets you peek into how popular a given search term is. The benefit of this is being able to gauge interest in a particular product or market before you enter it. For example, if you're thinking of making a new kind of antivirus software and the Google Trends results show that not many people are typing antivirus software into the search engine, that might be a red flag. Alternatively, lots of search hits could indicate big interest in your market. Believe it or not, Google AdWords can also be used for market research purposes. How? Well, let's say you have an idea for a product but aren't sure if it's worth spending the money to create it yet. You can use Google AdWords to send targeted traffic to a brief web page where you describe your idea. Now the idea is if you can get people clicking your ad and reading your page, you know you might have a winner. And if no one clicks or cares, you can save yourself from wasting a lot of time and money on a dead idea. Good luck!